Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. Today we're going to take a look at how to open up an account and what you can expect. And I'm going to kind of guide you through it. Now, if you're uh, a lot younger than me and you're really comfortable with giving your information online and if, uh, you know, open up a wallet, open up an account uh, comes pretty simple to you, there's not much here for you. But if you're anywhere close to my generation or you feel uncomfortable or uh, apprehensive about opening up an account, this video is for you. So basically, what you need to do is pick out an exchange. Uh, there's Kraken, Coinbase, Gemini. Uh, uh, those are just a few. One that's really simple is Robinhood. Uh, and so go online, kind of do some research of whichever one you want to pick. I, I use, or I started with Coinbase. And so basically, here's my journey. I went online. It's pretty high tech. You get your phone. They go over your driver's license. You fill out uh, a lot of information uh, about your bank, your social security number, all that stuff. And then you have three options. You can hook your uh, debit card to, to the account. You can hook your credit card to the account. Uh, you can wire money or actually you can, so there be four, I'm sorry, you can actually give your uh, password and all your banking online information and they will literally go into your account and have full access which I didn't feel comfortable with. I was going to set up with my debit card because I'm covered and however it started a, a, some issues with um, I don't know why they, they flagged it for whatever reason so I spent hours and hours on the phone with my bank and it got through that hurdle. So it all made me uncomfortable. So what I did was I went down to my bank and I actually wired my money directly into the account. It was a limited amount and, and it was very straightforward and they don't have access to any of my bank information. Now that being said, when you fill out any form with these exchanges, make sure everything is exactly the same is on your um, credit card and that is on your uh, checking or whatever it is you give them and definitely exactly the same as what your driver's license said. It took me three tries to get my account right because my driver's license is my full name, right? Raymond Bruce Meadows spelled out. Well, my bank account, one said Raymond B. Meadows and the other one said Ray B. Meadows. That wasn't good enough. I actually had to get my bank to spell it all out. So that's just something you need to know. When you wire the money, make sure you verify, verify, verify. Because if you wire it to the wrong place, you might not get that money back. Now, what, what else? You can open up immediately with a wallet. Now, until you get more comfortable, I wouldn't open a wallet yet. I would wire a small amount into an account. And what they'll do, they'll just hold it there in their basic account and you can trade in and out of it. So here's my suggestion. If you want to open up an account, like I said, wire the money, wire a small amount of money into an exchange. Uh, do it a, a couple of uh, trades, whether it's $10, $5, any amount, get comfortable. And then once you feel comfortable, you can then figure out what to do next. And what I did was wire money that went to my wallet. And, and so I felt comfortable. Now once you have your wallet, what that's going to do for you is you can 
uh, basically you're going to be storing the money when it's not being allocated and you can receive funds transfer funds in and out to and from different accounts whether it be uh, other people's accounts or into other exchanges so hopefully that makes you a little more comfortable I highly suggest that you go ahead open an account even if you are not really planning on getting involved anytime soon just go ahead open a small account any amount get comfortable maybe get to the point where you have a wallet and therefore when something happens or you feel more comfortable or it becomes more mainstream whatever happens in the future you'll at least have the account ready and the understanding of what happens next because quite frankly you know, if we woke up tomorrow and Bitcoin is down 70%, which could happen, you might want to buy and not miss that. Now, that being said, what is it? NFA, not financial advice. This is just for knowledge. These are just my opinions. I'm not your financial advisor. But anyway, hopefully that helped, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Uh, if there's some other way to explain that simpler, uh, leave that in the comments as well. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Hopefully you've subscribed. If not, please do so. We want you part of this community. Hit the like button and share for, with like-minded people. Take care, guys.